today I want to start a series on how to play Reverend Horton Heat's D is for Dangerous. Here's the intro and the outro. This bookends the entire tune. Um, it's just D minor and B flat major 7 over and over again. Here it is. He starts out with uh, bending this E and then playing the open D. Throughout the whole thing, he's kind of riding on this high A. The next note he places this low B flat, and that's what makes it a major seven chord, is that we're playing an A and a B flat. Um, so again, that's the bend. Ride that A, add the B flat, then just play the same thing over again, twice. Then he slides up to a C octave and just slides down this high C back to an A. Really the whole thing can slide ends on that that A, so your your low A is kind of just going to ring out from you sliding quickly. And then quickly plays an A chord, building up to that chord. That chord is an A7 with a sharp 5 and a flat 9. Now I don't, I'm not 100% sure that, that he plays this low A in the chord, but he's definitely playing these notes. So let's break down that A section. It starts with a uh, open D and a B flat. Then he slides this E5 chord up to an F5 chord, playing it plays a D5 chord. Now the rest of the time he keeps his bass notes pulsing and plays the melody line with his middle finger like this. on that A, then he just plays the same thing again. But this time, he ends on an open A and an open G. Same thing. But this time, when he gets here, he climbs up the arpeggio, plays this little bass line to the A chord, keeping that going this melody, open E to the F minor, 